Hi, this is Rick Mansfield. I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of a couple of pretty cool features of using Accordance for Windows on the Microsoft Surface Pro. Now, if you've ever, if you know me or if you've ever seen any of the videos I've done before, you notice I'm usually using a uh, Mac and I'm still primarily a Mac guy, but I found uh, that I could do a couple of things on the Surface Pro that I can't do uh, on um, on a regular Mac computer. And, and I primarily use this Surface Pro for grading student papers, and I'll show you why. First, let me show you my Surface Pro. Uh, I like this. Uh, I put this skin on it. This uh, image I actually got out of Accordance. This is uh, from the Bible Art module, and I had a I had a skin made for the Surface Pro. This is uh, the armies of the angels, uh, the angels of the army of God attacking Sennacherib and his uh, Assyrian forces from around 2 Kings 19, I believe. And this was um, this was a painting by Peter Paul Rubens. That's um, that's not Pee Wee Herman for those of you who don't know anything about art. Uh, but Peter Paul Rubens was an artist who lived around, I believe, the 16th century or so. And I, I really like a lot of his uh, style. It's it's actually got kind of a modern look to it. And so I, I had this skin made using the image that I got from, uh, from Accordance. And I actually did this before I even had Accordance on the... Um, on the uh, Surface Pro before the Windows version came out. Now, uh, I sh and you can even see here, I've got the I've got the image as my wallpaper, and so it blends in with this the decal that's uh, here on the around the the screen itself. So let me type in my password real quick, and the screen comes up. I'm running Windows 8.1 Preview. The full version of 8.1 comes out in a um, in a week or two. Before I show you Accordance itself, let me show you why I like using why I like using the Surface Pro in general for a couple of very specific uh, tasks. I teach some university classes and I grade a lot of papers. And one thing that I uh, that I've discovered is that the the digital pen that comes with these tablets is is really nice. Now, if you've ever tried to use a capacitive stylus with an iPad, uh, the, the those kind that have kind of a mushy rubber tip at the end, that's very different than the kind of pen that comes with the with the Surface Pro and some of the other Windows tablets that are out there. These are actually digital pens. They even come with little buttons for uh, you can do a right click or you can program them to do other things, and they they interact with the screen uh, just by being in close proximity. Proximity. You don't even have to touch the screen necessarily, but uh, some people use them, artists use them in things because there's something like a thousand levels of uh, pressure sensitivity and so forth. Uh, again, something that's very unique to these kinds of tablets. I wish there were those kinds of capabilities on the uh, the Mac, especially for writing on on documents. But anyway, let me let me give you an example real quick of something in uh, Microsoft Word. And I'm gonna I'm gonna first start Word here just by touching the icon and letting that open up. Obviously, I can't show you one of my student papers, but I'm going to just open up a document. It doesn't matter what it is. And so, uh, just kind of creating this document from a template. You'll, you'll notice up here that, uh, you know, here we've got the, the regular ribbon toolbar. But something really interesting happens when you bring this pin up close. When you bring the pin up close to I'm not even touching the screen yet, but when you bring that pin up close, this uh, this whole uh, new ribbon uh, shows up here. This new tab shows up, and this allows me to to select different pen colors and thickness and and so forth. And so, you know, in the old days when we would grade papers by hand, you know, you'd take a pen and a pen and you'd circle things and you'd underline things and you'd make comments out here in the margin. Now, mostly when we grade papers, you, you insert comments and in you type them over in the side. And, and that's great. I still do a lot of that. But it's nice to be able to write directly on a paper, too. And that's one of the things that first attracted me to, to using a Surface Pro in the first place. And, and you know, you, I can write a comment like, you know, great or something like that. Or, um, or I can come in here and change colors and write something like uh, this. Um, of course, I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually do that. But you know, those of us who grade papers all day sometimes fantasize about doing that. So it's nice to do it. The, the other thing, though, is you know these these pins. Uh, there's even a little kind of a, a faux eraser here on the end, and so I can take this eraser and I can, by touching the screen with it, I can even erase uh, part of what I've what I've drawn there. So that's it, it's really handy. I've even purchased a. Um, 
a bamboo pen that's more heavy duty that allows me to to write on here as well it's a little bit heavier in the hand uh, a little bit nicer than the pen that came with it it doesn't have the eraser tip like uh, on the Microsoft pen, but it's a uh, it's it's handy to use nonetheless. So that's that's primarily why I, I use this Surface Pro. Uh, that's my main use for it. But it's been very nice over the uh, past few weeks having betas of Accordance for Windows because Accordance is the primary Bible program I've used for now almost 15 years, and so uh, that was that was the one big disadvantage always for using Windows is that we we didn't have accordance on it and, and of course now we do so I'm gonna I'm gonna close that no I don't want to save that I'm going to pull up accordance here accordance comes up let me make it fit the yeah that fits the right width uh, so that it shows my toolbar and uh, this is this is accordance for Windows and I, and I specifically rather than doing a screen capture uh, you know I, I wanted to show you specifically how this pin will interact with accordance now uh, one thing that the pin does as I've already mentioned is you don't actually have to touch the screen with it you can just bring it in to proximity and this works with any program this isn't anything that's unique to accordance but it's something that um, that I think is a pretty uh, pretty cool feature that uh, again you can't do quite with the Mac and so if I bring my pin in close you notice immediately that uh, I start getting what what's called mouse over highlighting and I don't know how well this is going to show up on video but um, when I put the mouse over the the words these uh, this is the the 2011 NIV and it's got the uh, it's got key numbers attached to it that tie to uh, in this case Hebrew because we're in Genesis and there's an instant details window down here and again I'm not even touching the screen but just by moving my mouse about a, I'm not mouse moving my pen about an inch or closer to it, I automatically get uh, automatically get responsiveness from the screen. And so, if I come in here and I I pull in, uh, let me pull in a a Hebrew text as well. Now we have what's called uh, crossover crossover highlighting. And and again, is that all that different from using a mouse? No, uh, it's not. But uh, there's there's something there's something that's almost kind of magical about it when you when you hold your pen. When you hold your pen over the the screen, and in fact, it reminds me of the old days when we used to use reference books, and you might sit there with a pen, kind of studying that. And I, I don't know, there's just there's something like it, and it changes a little bit the way that you you work to be able to hold this pen in close proximity and get these instant details. Or if you're if you're reading a if you're reading a text, and you know, here's a footnote, and I want to just kind of just barely hover the pen over the footnote and get those results down there in the instant details windows when it's it's just a it's a it's a really cool feature the, the other thing too is if you're going to use if you're going to use something like the surface pro strictly uh, in a setting where you uh, are using it as a tablet you don't have this the keyboard with the the touchpad which actually isn't very good to be honest um, if you're going to use this in a setting where uh, these uh, as a tablet, it's handy to have something like this pen because the, in regard to these desktop apps, whether it's whether it's Word, whether it's Accordance, whatever, these aren't actually made strictly for touch. And so although I can come up here and I can touch some of these icons, you know, if I, if I really want to come in here close to something very small, uh, it, it helps to have it helps to have a pen to be able to hit those uh, particular points. Again, very different than than what you would have with an iPad or something like this. But you know, although there's a version of Accordance for the uh, iPad, here I've got the full version. It's much more powerful, and it's nice to have this in in tablet form. And, and in fact, I'll, I'll tell you that um, uh, you know, since since April 2010, I've been using an iPad really as my primary uh, one of my primary tools on the go for. Um, uh, for you doing any kind of Bible study or research or things like that and so now it's handy like for instance on Sundays at church to be able to take to take the surface pro with me to to use it you know just strictly as a in tablet form like this and to use that say at church or or uh, in whatever uh, format uh, or whatever place I need to use to use um, to use these kinds of tools mobile it's been it's been very great and uh, you know the we started out with the betas over the the summer and accordance just got better and better uh, but it um, uh, now it's in a very stable version uh, 
Of course, I can, with my pen, I can pull up a contextual menu or so forth. Um, triple clicking words are, are a little bit harder with a pen. I don't think that's an issue with accordance. I think that's just trying to get into a routine of doing it with a pen. But you see that uh, that pulled up uh, the lexical entry for uh, the word that I triple clicked on there. And so there's a lot of advantage for uh, doing those kinds of um, kinds of things, especially if you're going to be using uh, if you're going to be using the Surface Pro strictly in a tablet mode without the, the keyboard, that pen comes in very handy for hitting some of those uh, small, those very small touch points. As has been uh, mentioned already in a lot of the, the coverage that Accordance for Windows has received, there is, um, you know, the, the program itself has been designed uh, to really be a Windows native program. It's not just a straight port from the Mac. So, for instance, you know, if I, if I come up here and I click on this, there's a utilities menu that's not on the Mac. And I don't know how well this is going to show up uh, on this menu here. Let me kind of zoom in here. But, um, you know, these are, you know, check for app update, check for content updates, easy install. These kinds of things would normally be on the application menu on the Mac. And so they're right here. Notice also with a pen, I don't even have to touch the screen, but I can control these menus once one of them is open just by using the pen in close proximity, which again is just kind of a, a different way of, of doing things. I like doing things this this way. The only thing I've really found on here that's kind of a holdover uh, straight from the Mac are these um, these folders. Those are definitely OS X folders in the, the library window. Not that it matters, it's kind of a superficial issue and that may be something that, uh, that the developers change over time. They, they may give these uh, uh, Windows type uh, folders there uh, eventually. I don't know, I haven't heard anything. But uh, that's, that's really the only Mac specific uh, issue I found here those those folders and those are uh, folders that of course you can set up for uh, your library to arrange it however you want so anyway accordance for Windows on the Surface Pro uh, a little bit of usability that you can't do on the uh, the Mac at least not until we get touch screens on the Mac and so um, so uh, Surface Pro and accordance uh, a great combination.